Pod in the City is a Sex in the City podcast and thus contains adult themes and explicit content. Listener discretion is advised. Welcome to Pod in the City. I'm Amanda. And I'm John. We're two besties who bonded over sex in the city in college. And now, 20 years later, we're reliving it like it's our very first time. And just like that, season one, episode four, some of my best friends. As she looks to move forward, Carrie meets with self-made real estate broker Seema Patel. Charlotte plans a high-stakes dinner party for LTW. Miranda and Naya connect over the frank realities of motherhood and Carrie in her old apartment. Oh, no, that was... (laughs) That that was going into your notes? That was my very first note. Oh, my God, that's so funny. Hi guys! Hi everyone! Eh, 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 eh. We're so All excited right. to do this sweet filler I episode. Am, I'm like trying to like pump myself up right now because honestly, honestly, this episode pissed me the f off. Joan, like, you need a little buffer in between a comedy concert and finger banging at noon in the kitchen. I guess, but like, damn, we were riding high, and this literally almost put me to sleep multiple times i'm like what does this have to do with anything um anyway before we do all that let's do a little bit of housekeeping friends so we're really really glad to have you here as always and we really appreciate it we've been getting some really good feedback from people saying they've been enjoying it and if you're not enjoying it turn on turn us off now it's okay it's okay babe it's okay there's lots of other i think there's lots of other um, Sex in the City podcast. So, yeah, those ones they don't swear or like. There's probably ones that are less insufferable. Anyway, and that really like and just like that. So there you go. Anyway, the, the end. In case you didn't know, we will be snarking our way through this. We talk shit and we talk shit to each other. Um, you know. Uh, so, I'd like to start off by saying we are doing YouTube live episodes uh, every week on Mondays. We're doing these like YouTube lives. So um, we sometimes reference sex in the city, but we kind of just talk about pop culture shit. Uh, So come join us on there. Find our YouTube channel, Pod in the City. If you just search it on YouTube, it comes up. It's there. Subscribe. We're very close to reaching some goals over there. So help us out, babes. And if you're if you are already watching this on YouTube, this is probably going to cut off at around the 15, 20 mark mm-hmm. or however mm-hmm. long we talk before we get into the actual episode. But if you want to watch the rest of us recording this with some clips from the show, mm-hmm. lots, uh, mm-hmm. head on over to our Patreon. It's free. The free tier. Just join as a free member. You do not have to pay. Now, I will say, I would love... If some people would like to join the paid versions of our Patreon as well, I would love to like, we keep getting more and more. I just keep join us over there guys. It's $6 a month. We put out quite a few things and um, uh, we also just have a fun time over there. It's a safe little sweet spot. So it is. Um, John shows off some Barbies and posts some just random stuff. Uh, it's 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 lovely. Also, and- we've started on our YouTube channel doing a little fun offshoot, some ASMR work. So, oh, that's um, right, which is blowing up. Apparently. Join us for that too. I know these things aren't necessarily all Sex in the City related, but if you like us, then you know, join our universe, the Pod and the City universe with Amanda and John, y'all. So, um, oh. Really exciting. So in our other Sex in the City episodes, if you haven't listened to those, please go back and listen to our, our first season. We already covered the whole thing. At the end of those episodes, where we were reading sexy, um, some they weren't too sexy. They're like embarrassing They were sex like stories. a Say Anything from um, YM Magazine. Okay, yeah. So it was, uh, we were having a lot of fun. Now this show doesn't lend itself as well to, you know, queef stories and stuff. There was absolutely nothing sexual in this episode. Carrie could never. On a podcast? (laughs) What? Carrie better get her her, um, promos up or else the podcast is going to fail because of her. Social media could could make or break you. 
If you go more than three weeks on Instagram, you're fucked. Okay. You're, you're dead. Fucked. You're dead. <laughs> anyway, oh, um, is. so check it. Speaking of, check out our Instagram. We are pretty fucked over there too because we ain't, we're not that good at it. It's more just letting you know well, when our episodes yeah. post. Um, and you know, yeah, just anyway, follow us on all but our stuff. Send yeah. us sex stories. Send us uh, oh, any yeah, funny yeah, that's... stories. <laughs> if it's an embarrassing, send us an and just like that story, if you like. Something about like being in your middle. It's something like, embarrassing. Just, and they're all anonymous. I would like, also suggest like something fun because my my worry is if we're sending it and just like that stories, it's like going to be about when your husband died on his Peloton. And then when you got your house staged, they brought in a new Peloton. Oh my God. I feel like by the time this episode actually aired, Peloton was already kind of on like the downswing of being like trendy. And like, well, so they got, they had that. Remember when they had that whole thing where it was like um, an ad about, I think getting your wife a Peloton or something. Yeah, the, I mean, those two people were on a, backlash. the girl was on a, uh, she's like on a, uh, a lot of Doughboys episodes. Oh, really? Yeah, she's a comedian actually. And she's like that, she's like that sucked. And then her husband went on with her and he's like, yeah, we'd go out to restaurants and people would recognize her and then look at me like, I, was like, I didn't actually get her. <laughs> You're like, uh, we're not real. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah, I guess. <sighs> Unfortunately, I've been seeing a lot in the earth on the world lately about how people are fucking stupid. So it doesn't surprise me that they would think that. Yeah. Anyway, um, I, so I send was, us your stories. Yes. Yeah, and we'll talk about talk about this really quickly. Um, it's technically it will technically be like oh this upcoming like Saturday Saturday um mm -hmm. four twenty. Join us on our Patreon. So join our Patreon for $6 a month. You can um, get tons of free episodes and shit. And then you can join our 420 special where we toke up and we have a good time, baby. Yeah, we have a bunch of, um, it's hosted kind of by me and Jody through We Love to Hate TV on our YouTube. Yep. But you can get the link at our Patreon as well. So but, uh, it'll be live. Yes, it'll be live. And basically what it'll be is like, I'll just be there like kind of on the side in the corner probably. And then like, I'll be interjecting and then someone will probably say they hate me because, you know, I was actually good. I was, I was thinking of today that I feel like there should be like a moderator slash like host kind of just to like keep stuff going. And I was going to ask if you wanted to do that. Cause I definitely don't like, ho like, Oh, just somebody on the who's like, no, just somebody who's kind of leading the whole thing. I feel like you or Jody should do it. But uh, we can talk I think about you should here. probably let Jody. Uh, could you imagine <laughs> if I rolled in there? <laughs> Who's People this would guy? literally want to kill. You were me. on last last year's or one. No, year. I was, but you know, I roll in there and I'm like, "Hey, yeah, I took over Jody's spot in the lives, and now it's the 420 special, guys. Your 420 special, and I'm here." <laughs> I'm here. We have some fun stuff planned for that, though. So join us at 420, and you can choke up with us and talk to us. Actually, we've never done it live talking to people, so it's going to add a whole other layer of anxiety, oh, but it'll haven't? be fun. No, we've never done it live. Oh, it's yeah, always been okay. pre-recorded. You're right. You're right. So that'll be. Fun. I feel well, like a lot of people will join. Or maybe just two or three people, and that'll be fun, too. I think a lot of people will join. Anyway, please join us over there. That'll be really fun. Now... Let's have a little chat about this episode, right? Yes, because yeah. um, this episode, we're on and just like that now, guys. Thanks for chugging in those first nine minutes. Um, we are <laughs> just like that now. Um, this is the episode, basically, I guess, where Stanford in real life. Um, what's his Recently. real name? Uh, Willie Garson. Willie Garson, where he passed away. And this is how they've decided, uh, what they've basically decided if you've watched the episode or if you haven't and you're listening, you know, fresh here, they decided that they'd basically send Stanford to Japan to manage this like TikTok star um, and have him divorce Anthony by letter in one 30 second scene. Now this is where I, okay. What your thoughts before I rant, before I go the off. The only thing that actually I noticed because I haven't seen this episode since we started recapping everything but actually i'm surprised at how much they kind of brought it back around even if they i feel like the writers didn't even mean to do this but in like the pilot the first season of sex in the city with stanford it seems like they're trying to figure out what to do with him and his original character was geared more as like 
Carrie's best friend, who's also who also is like a manager of like young twinks, and then also dates them, mm-hmm. and then they they kind of veered away from that. But that's kind of how he ended up in this. Then that he like moved to Japan to be the manager of like some like twinky I don't know star in Japan. It was a girl though. Oh, it was a girl. Yeah, I think they said Ashley, and it looked like a girl. Unfortunately, I wish it would have been like some hot little piece. Oh, that well then, been, never mind. I give the writers the writers too much credit. Right there, that they actually remembered so. a reference from the original. Series. I think. But anyway, I what, think you did. What now, do you think? If you've been listening to our past, this is technically. I, I, I was shook that this is already the fourth episode of Angels Like That. I'm I'm numb to it already. But um, if you've been listening <laughs> to our past three, you know that one of my main issues here, and I think Amanda's now too, is the long drawn out moments that like literally are just to fill the runtime. Uh, me, and, me and Jody did a Facts of Life episode yesterday, uh-huh. and it was it was it's from 1980, and they didn't apparently back in those days they didn't utilize underscoring so there's a whole scene where like a bunch of characters are exiting and then while other characters are entering and all you hear is like <laughs> just as like people okay. exit and enter and i was like oh it's like and just like that now did they do that or did they have to take the music out or did they really just walk around like that well i guess they kind of do that in golden girls didn't they there's like scenes of no, them walking they have- to the door yeah, but in Golden Girls, they at least have the do, 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 do. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, and just like that, has terrible underscoring. I don't know what the fuck is gone on It'll here. It'll play underscore, but then also show five minutes of characters entering and exiting. Now, I did. Wa- I forgot to. I keep forgetting to mention this. I watched the preview for the and just like that Figure. documentary. Oh yeah, I've watched that. You have. Yeah, we should probably do it. Oh, we have to. We need to. But wow. It's actually, you might like it because it pretty much is just Sarah Jessica Parker trying on a bunch of different outfits and looking fabulous in all of them, which is like fine. Well, it showed me that Miranda, or Miranda. um, Cynthia Nixon. (laughs) Cynthia Nixon. She directed some of the episodes. Oh. And this feels like maybe an episode she had her fingers in is... And I'm not talking about she had her as sticky little lot. fingies in. <laughs> um, I mean, <laughs> a trigger fingies. What? Okay, so uh, before I veered off there, my annoyance here, um, I did say that they have these long drawn out moments, and we will, I will show you some references over on our free Patreon, or you'll get to hear them, um, because you're obviously listening on our podcast feed, which hopefully you are, um, too. Where was I going? <laughs> is that know. okay the way that they have the scene with stanford leaving literally is like nothing it's like oh stanford wrote stanford's going to japan yeah and he left me a letter too he wants a divorce i don't understand we were so happy cut scene yeah i could have used some entering and exiting at the end of that one huh or they could have given a little more explanation because then there are multiple scenes there's multiple scenes after it even where it's long hanging moments like carrie rolling down the window to smoke the cigarette one time and then lean out even more to smoke out the window some more yeah there's a scene at the beginning where it just shows like all the characters like getting ready for their day and there's like 10 minutes of naya like putting on an earring and then her husband comes up behind her and they kiss. That was a cut in to another scene where a scene is playing. And then there's like a scene, he brings her coffee. They keep checking in on Naya's earring. (laughs) Time. Like I don't understand here y'all. So anyway, should we just get into it? Because yeah, no, you were going to address one more thing, weren't you? Oh, about like how, um, some people were coming back and some people aren't. Or they oh, haven't announced yes. who's coming back. Okay, so I know that we had talked originally that um what's their what's face? It? Oh, what, what's happening here? Uh oh, it took me to another. Oh, here we go. Um we heard that Naya isn't coming back, which kind of makes sense, I guess. This episode's really confusing to me. I'll just veer off here again on Naya for a second. How old is Naya supposed to be? I thought she was supposed to be their age. Me too. Well, she's kind of, so it must be mid-40s, I guess. But she 
kind of looks older. So then what was, what's the point? What was the point of having her as a character? Uh, because they wanted a separate friend for each girl. I know, so but doesn't, could... doesn't um, Miranda then get Che? Well, I guess that's Oh, her yeah, love you're interest. right. No, you're right. So, yeah, they're, well, that's probably why Naya's gone, but now Che's gone. So Miranda lost both of her side characters. Maybe Miranda will then, like, turn normal again anyway yeah, go back to steve and it'll all we learned that we learned that naya left we obviously learned that um sarah ramirez was axed but what they're saying now they're not handling it very well either <laughs> i don't know no, no. um there's really not a gracious exit there no, but no. i mean on either side though i mean to be fair it's they didn't give oh. her a gracious exit either they oh no 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 no! It it happened in like the worst, disaster. most. It was in a terrible time and a terrible thing to do it. The way uh -huh. it happened, but also their character is horrible. It was horribly <laughs> written. Bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna just say that I'm gonna give this show that it's terribly written more than anything. Uh, I'm gonna give it the benefit. Of yeah, no, I'm not gonna. I don't think anyone right. would argue with you on that. Um. Well. Okay. So. One thing, though, people are wondering, the rest of the casting is still up in the air. I guess they haven't actually announced any of it. But they're what they're saying is, um, someone asked Michael Patrick King, oh, our favorite they get him. in the world. <laughs> <laughs> favorite. Um, but if you are listening, Michael, we love you. Um, <gasps> Let me interrupt really quickly. I thought I had the thought the other day because I was listening to Lady Watch. Always, I'll always be promoting Lady Watch. Lady Watch, come back. Oh we'll start a hashtag. I, I keep, that's that's one of the few pictures I keep every week. Um, that Michael Patrick King helped create the comeback. Mm -hmm. So he somehow has like some brilliance. But like, how do he's you write Sex and City and the comeback? He's, he's become too disjointed from reality. The comeback was 30 years ago almost, wasn't it? But the new one was so good. The, the when they brought it back for that second season, the okay, but I'm was gonna, an amazing season. Uh, I'm going to guess Lisa Kudrow had her hands in that. I okay, that right make, that would make sense, I guess. Did you watch she's that? Smart we should and cover funny. that. Okay, honey, we got a lot on the docket. <laughs> When, you said we, the other, when the fuck when you are said we covering the other day that? that? It's going to take us two entire years to cover the first season of Golden. <laughs> and I look back, and um, it's not even that would be twenty four <laughs> episodes, but the first season of Golden Girls is twenty five episodes. There was no like over order. two years. <laughs> Um, in case you guys didn't know, over on our Patreon, what we do is we do like a little chit chat session and then we cover an episode like we do here. We'd rotate between Golden Girls, Designing Women, um, Girls, and um, Broad City. Broad City. Um, all powerful bitches parties. <laughs> yeah. But maybe we can switch it up every so often. We might need to do something. Or, yeah, yeah who knows? Um, we could take like a month, like every Mar March Madness, we could have like March Madness and we can do like random, like Pen15, the comeback, other, oh. other bougie shit like that. What we need to do is like help us build up our audience if we're not, if I'm not too annoying. Um, please help us build up our audience. Share us. Share our stuff. Anyway, Michael Patrick King, right? Uh -huh. Right. No, I'm, I'm the question that. here was, you know, after we had our. I mean, spoiler alert, I guess um, in, in the second season, we get a cameo from Samantha, who I dearly missed in this fucking episode. She would have made it interesting or fun. Um, that they're asking if she's going to come back, basically. And he says... Oh, I think I saw this, yeah. Fans okay. seem to be having their own expectations in such a micro way that I can't even get into the conversation, he told Variety. I really thought it was a little treat, and I would never build any expectations on more. Wow. I <laughs> think she's made it pretty clear that that's not going to be happening, babe. Like, and also, she got them to give her $1 million for the 30-second scene that she's in in the finale that she films in a limo by herself, not on set with anyone. I want but, the Samantha spinoff. That would, yeah, that would be great. Samantha like her inter in the her city. Her interacting, like, even if she's in London, I would love to watch her interact just with anyone, because she's the best character. Just her interacting with new people. I would they I'd really love to watch. The you know, they tried here to make Seema 
I feel like they were trying to give us Samantha vibes with Seema. But what you come to at the end of this episode almost immediately is that they don't let Seema be sexy. Her, her storyline is how she's like, oh my God, like no one wants to be with me. No one likes me. And like, and uh, Samantha's the opposite where everyone wants to fuck Samantha. You are going to enjoy, um, you're going to relate to her kind of arc. Cause there's this one. Uh, oh, I already did. I actually, she, I cried during this episode two different times. Weird. Cause the thing that Carrie says to her in the restaurant, we're going to get into it obviously, mm -hmm. but the thing that Carrie says to her in the restaurant, I did clock that. Cause I forgot that that, this, that even happened. And I was like, that was kind of bitchy. And then it, it comes back at the end and I was like, you, Oh, because haven't you experienced stuff like that before? Well, that's the thing. So the, um, but there's a scene that keeps coming up for my TikTok because I think it's probably a lot of single people out there that like love that scene where, Carrie and her are going to the Hamptons, and spoiler alert, but Aiden's back at some point. You knew that, right? Season two. Oh, uh, you know, Aiden. Is he have a big? Does he have a long? Yeah, he's there. It's it's a whole thing. He's but not anyway. just like a cameo. No, he uh, he's like no. a. And then the way they wrap it up is insane too. But anyway, oh god, you're gonna hate it. But <clears throat> there's a scene where like her and Carrie have plans to be in the Hamptons for the whole summer. So Seema books the thing. This is such a Carrie thing to do. And then Carrie's like, oh, by the way, like we're I'm going to bring Aiden. And then Seema's like, so then Seema sees her at like the salon later and she's kind of being off putting to Carrie, like kind of bitchy. And Carrie's like, what's wrong? So then she they go out to smoke together and it's raining and they're under umbrellas. And Seema like lets her have it. And she she's did like, at I, the don't, end of this. I don't want to go. I yeah. thought she kind of did at the end of this. I liked it a lot. I, I, she's like, and, she, and Carrie's like, oh, well, you're going to love Aiden. She's like, I'm sure I will. But she's like, I, I didn't sign up to go and mm -hmm. hang out with a couple. And Carrie's like, well, we're not going to act like that. But it's not the same thing. It isn't completely. the same thing. I don't no, want to go now that you're a couple. That completely changes the dynamics. Yeah. Of things. Yeah. Um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to say this is the end of our YouTube time. And um, I think um, we should put up a... Um... Keep talking. Right? Like, um, I was just going to play mute. this. It put you on mute for some Love it. All right. And we're Go to our Patreon, our free Patreon, right? Because we didn't you know, actually I, say I that. Played, I played the outro for a second and it muted you. I oh, think. it did? Yeah, something. Oh, I was there. talking that whole time. I know, I can see your mouth moving. Okay, so Never. here's the deal, guys. Um, go to our free Patreon. Um, and there you go. Now I'm getting into the recap.